Bonjour à tout le monde and welcome to another episode of On the Canvas. And today we are on the canvas with the artist that literally single-handedly helped and discovered canvas to become what it is today. This is the artist that paved the way for all the work that I've done up until today. Uh, that is Matthias Shirombo, and he's coming all the way from South Africa. Good evening, Matthias. How are you? Ah, no, Maza. Thank you. I'm, I'm hanging in there. Uh, just uh, happy I'm able to to do some work without uh, people disturbing me that much often. So really? it's been fantastic. Yes. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to be uh, part of, of this discussion and um, share my thoughts uh, um, about um, um, what's happening and my work, how really? it, it contribute to, uh, towards the discussion. It's, it's, it's honestly, it, it's, it's, my, it's my honor. Now, Matthias, for those of you who do not know who you are, I would just um, like to just give a, a, a very um, quick uh, bio. You were born in Harare in 1985. You then moved to South Africa in 2007, where you studied fine art in the prestigious University of Grahamstown. Uh, Grahamstown, you chose as your, as your city, and this is where you are settled now with your family. Your works are highly influenced by the Shona Anthology, which is a, an anthology that op offers us a different uh, point of view when it comes to life, family, from a spiritual level. Now, the first question that I'm going to ask you has to do with what is happening globally today, and that is the coronavirus. Uh, some and most say that the coronavirus is really challenging us to remember the ancient traditional ways or values, values that are grounded in cohabitation, in sustainability, empathy, and solidarity. What I wanted to find out from you, uh, Matthias, who already his work is, you are, your work is highly influenced by the Shona Ontology, how can people through your works remember the traditional ways, the old traditional ways? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think um, uh, we, we, we have to look at uh, going back to basics. Um, you know, in terms of how we we brought up, um, understanding the the value of nature, um, um, more of like say this um, familial connection to 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 nature and animals, uh, influencing the way people um, uh, kind of treat their surroundings. Mm -hmm. um, in 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 a in a way, I would I would say. Um, how, what's the best way um, can I put it? Uh, is, is to state, uh, for example, uh, you're born. Mm -hmm. um, when you're born, um, it's, it's, it's this uh, feeling that you're brought into a new world, mm -hmm. and you know the the main thing is not to worry about um, you dying, but to to actually enjoy. Uh, and 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 try and campus and canvas uh, the world you're living in. Mm -hmm. um, natural um, surroundings here. We're talking about uh, your 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 immediate family uh, mm -hmm. where you experience love mm -hmm. uh, and 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 romance first as a child until you out there in the bigger uh, world. Mm -hmm. So from there comes the the extended family, which are the surroundings outside your immediate family. Mm -hmm. um, here we we talking about um, trees, mm -hmm. all the natural things uh, around water. Mm -hmm. um, as, as, as such, yeah, I think the, the the best way I can try put it across is if um, um, somebody. Uh, passes away or one's uh, grandmother uh, or partner uh, mm -hmm. they pass away uh, they will be buried and um, for example a tree mm -hmm. uh, is, is grown on top of their grave so mm -hmm. a small tree you put it there plant it water it look after it until mm -hmm. it's a big tree mm 
Uh, mm -hmm. You wouldn't want um, somebody coming and, and cutting branches mm -hmm. uh, or, or cutting that tree down. Uh, because it's an extension of that family member. You know, yeah. that's a physical example. So it's, it's the same in a spiritual sense. Uh, when um, those uh, relatives pass away, mm. they haven't left, they are with us uh, mm. as such. Mm. We shouldn't think that they, they, they've gone forever. Mm. Excuse me. So um, um, that that's one aspect we should see uh, our surroundings, the trees, the plants. Mm -hmm. They have feelings. They feel. They mm -hmm. breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, and we we shouldn't deny them uh, mm -hmm. of, of of that. Mm -hmm. uh, same as all the small animals. So mm -hmm. all these things have got feelings. Mm -hmm. um, the chickens, the cows, mm. uh, the goats, the dogs, they, uh, you know, they don't speak, but they feel, uh, you know, they, 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 they love, they want love, you know, mm. and compassion. So we mm. should learn to be compassionate. Compassion. Um, so, mm. so from growing up, um, you know, in, in my uh, family, mm -hmm. uh, with my mother, we grew, we grew up in a very spiritual space. Uh, right. We, um, you know, we had uh, old, old ancestors coming mm -hmm. through, uh, talking through my uh, mother, whom I've never met, you know, right. who would have been 200 years old or so. Mm -hmm. And I'm a small child. I'm three years, five years old. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting next to my mother, mm -hmm. but hearing a different uh, voice speaking. Wow. It's there, you're trying to understand. It's your mm -hmm. mother who's sitting, but mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's not your mother. It's, it's a bigger uh, person. It's a bigger, uh, um, how do you put it? Uh, it's a bigger being, this, bigger presence. Yeah. Exactly, it's no longer yeah. just your mother. And you, you see all these, there's like 50 people. There's mm -hmm very senior people, there's the elders mm. uh, who are being told what to do, what they're doing wrong oui. and why they, they're not respecting the spaces mm. or not uh, doing certain uh, things or, or just remembering their own parents oui. uh, or their grandfathers uh, in terms of where they come from so yes. it's, it's it's more those uh, kinds of things understanding the line where and what we're going to teach our children because history also influences mm -hmm. um, you know, the the future you know you have to understand where you're coming from mm -hmm. so again we also got to understand as people um, you know where we come from as as, as a world we, uh, and, and the practices uh, that we, we we have, you know, the inhumane treatment, mm -hmm. uh, also the not just treatment of people, we, but the natural resources, the na uh, natural resources as well. Mm. Seas, um, you know, and the animals as yes. if they, they they don't feel anything. So mm. we need pay attention and not, uh, for example, you know, being uh, taught that you don't kill uh, animals for fun. We, 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 we. And those times is it's, it's that if an animal is going to be killed, a, a few things have to be done. They have to be done first, yes. First, mm. you kill an animal because it's mm. a spirit. You've got to uh, have uh, respect for that and also yes. because um, ancestors can speak through, can in, 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 in inhabit in an animal and speak mm. through mm. An animal, mm. uh, spiritually. So those kinds of things, that's why they commanded respect. You don't just um, kill something for fun or, mm. you know, when you pick fruits out of a tree, yes. uh, you, 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 you can't say this is ugly or this is mm. yuck. Yes. But mm -hmm. you, if, it's, if it's not uh, uh, a taste to fruit, see enough. Mm -hmm. uh, you say respectively, and yes. and you know you you take you you don't just uh, you know ah yeah cool and then you throw it on the ground. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's that sort of way of talking uh, yes. which we, yes. which you should understand, and also it comes back to how we speak to one another. So back yeah. mm -hmm. um, to 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 me growing up, uh, mm. so we 
you know, as a child, you're asking these questions. Mm -hmm. You know, who is the mother? Who's this um, uh, person? Or, you know, voice, you're trying to separate now yes. the, the body. The to body the, from the spirituality, yes. So now, but then you, you're looking, you've got 50 other people who've traveled hundreds of kilometers to mm -hmm. come for this ceremony. Others, they don't have money, but they mm -hmm. just uh, manage to, to, to get a few bits or sell 50 kgs of maize just to mm -hmm. get on the bus to come through for this. Uh, they don't have money, but it's because it's a, the importance of a ceremony, you know, mm -hmm. the commit, commitment. Ubuntu. So um, you you try to understand how can all these people, you know, sacrifice so much just to come and mm -hmm. here and you're trying to to weigh uh, mm -hmm. the value, uh, the value know, of it all, mm. respect and trying to understand uh, mm. uh, where they're coming from and everybody's got problems. There is nobody without any problems. Any problems. Mm seek solutions so from mm -hmm. from that and connect with their spiritual being and being uh, more in control so yeah. the work come back to 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 engage and and say you know we need to 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 look at that space the yes. more it's more like a sacred space you know yes uh, uh, a natural place where spirits are Present, comprising Present, you know, mm. streams, ports, mountains, mm -hmm. um, you know, possessing that ability to evoke a uh, special state of mind mm -hmm. uh, or say uh, emotion as well as catalyze a deeper spiritual awareness or altered uh, state. So, you know, the, the, the work provide more of like, say, uh, a window for communicating with ancestral spirits. Yes. Uh, um, the journey, obviously, through life uh, and spirit guides and ancestors and the overlap between the physical and the spirit world. Um, and, and those work more of represent an image uh, which you, you, first you look, it's more uh, abstract, uh, yes. but the further you look, um uh, the deeper you 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 get spiritual you you find it's a deeply more uh it's spiritually moving yes um, and um it it gives that space you start seeing further than what is presented by the image. in front of you mm, mm. You, you you start seeing more yes. and travel you it's, it's you start traveling uh yet you standing there and mm. you start seeing another world. So, mm. in, in a in a sense, um, it 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 brings you to see the world in your own perspective, exactly. and start understanding what we mean, what we talk about when we talk about spirituality. You mm -hmm. know, uh, in a universal sense. So, yet you can have five people look at something and uh, derive different meaning, few things. Mm feel something, but something very personal. Oui. Uh, for example, I did uh, um, uh, a painting uh, which was on uh, my father's last moments, my dad yes. passed away. So mm -hmm. it was, you know, I cried when I, I, I made the work mm -hmm. and it was very personal. Um, and, you know, for me, uh, when I'm working with this, so it's, 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 it's something more than just a painting. Really? And then the, 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 the lady who bought it, uh, she was the pastor. Yes. Um, she was a, uh, a pastor, so she uh, more like a priest. Um, and she bought it for herself uh, about her father. So she mm -hmm. said it reminded her of her own father. Did you, and did you first tell her that it was done in the memory of her father or it was not said? I didn't. You did um, Okay. I didn't. She just saw it and then came to to ask, you know, what the work mm. uh, is. I told and then uh, I told her my father's last moments. Yes. And then she saw more. She, she came twice uh, during the exhibition, during the... Uh, 
uh, festival exhibition and she looked mm -hmm. at it uh, several times mm -hmm. and um, you know she she didn't have much money but because it spoke to her about her own life um, then you know she bought it for that mm -hmm. um, made plans of it she didn't have much money but because it was about the value the purpose that, within her mm. yeah Mm. It's not about money, it's about, you know, picking up, understanding, you know, mm. what is about, what values mm. brings to one's life, mm. uh, and that is achieved, that is what the work is about. Yes. And, you know, yes. later on, after two years, I tried to say, listen, I'll pay you three times what you paid for <laughs> that painting, and she said, no, sorry, it's not for sale. So uh, you, you can imagine, you know, uh, uh, people where they buy these works and the artist is back, is now trying to buy the work back from them. <laughs> they say no. And, you know, I then say, okay, you know what, it's, it's fine. So, it has found its um, truthful owner. It, it had found its truthful yeah, owner. You know, yeah. <laughs> So in terms of, of, of that um, aspect, you know, I, I, I just hope uh, the work get people to, to understand what we 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 talking about, the basics, finding basics. time mm. um, for your, you know, for your family mm. and the extension into the natural world, how you treat your family should be the same way you should treat your environment exactly. around you and the animals uh, around you mm. and uh, the plants know, and the elements yeah, it goes further you know yes. the, the natural you know if you mining same thing you shouldn't mm. dump the, the the waste from the mine mm. uh, you know um, into either poor community areas yes. Or, yes. or into uh, countries which don't know how to deal with the waste or mm. etc yeah exactly Exactly. If you see something like that and you're in that kind of business mm. uh, and things are, you know, are not working in best practice, then mm. you must stop. You must find a better solution mm. not to poison the other communities. I understand. I understand fully. Um, now, Matthias, nothing in your work is, is done by random, not by chance. Um, you are either working under uh, intuitions or you are working with a very conscious intention. So even the colors that you use are very much so intentional. Now, I would like, I would like you to tell us um, where the colors coming from and what are the meanings behind the colors? Okay. <clears throat> um, you know, the, the first color which came through was, um, um, was, the the blue color yes um i think uh, that naturally um it 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 represents a calm yet strong space it's mm. it's more equivalent to to a spiritual space mm. um way um it's it's serious but yet things are cool and calm um mm. the other part is that it it, it also represents water for, yes, for water. Mm. You know, which is cleansing mm. uh, and it's, it's a space which is uh, quite uh, cool if you in underwater mm -hmm. imagine you're in the pool everything mm -hmm. is slowed you know and and time becomes irrelevant yes and that's the same space so um, now you look at it um, it's the same as what under the sea Yes. The, the, the the sea is, or, is above the land, and mm -hmm. in that same space, you know that understanding um, um, is 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 the feeling of of being submerged. Oui. Um, yeah. So now um, you come again to how I got to the to the colors, um, or how I make them. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of been trying to experiment, um, see how to, 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 you know, just trying to find new ways uh, of, of making the right color, mm -hmm. um, the, the right medium. So it's been, I know oil and water don't mix, mm -hmm. but I still want to mix them and I mix <laughs> them and that's how I end up with, with these uh, 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 vibrant colors and still I want to keep 
people say yes um you know uh for example you mixing oil paints uh um acrylic uh water based and um fabric paint and mm. minted and liquid mm. you know it doesn't uh, uh work easily or it doesn't work but mm. that's exactly what i want and that's what i do and that's how i managed to get these to get all these uh layers and layers and yeah. three dimension shadows and forms that come out and it's because of those mixtures and really? the thing is what i then realized you know because the the the, the first you know i could do uh certain tire different uh experiments with the with the paints you know the first mixtures the the, the first ones which i did were in 2002 you know yes. uh, um, on top of my mom's fridge, you know, at night I'll just be working through the night, making a big mess in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, but my parents just would leave me working uh, and carry on, you know, and and I would mess around. Um, and they didn't have much money, but they would buy me some some fabric paint, and that's what I started. With. So eventually coming to Rhodes University and Grahamstown, then I started to, to buy different uh, uh, type of uh, uh, paints, mix them up and uh, try to do the impossible. Mm -hmm. And through those forms, then I managed to, to, to get to that. Yes. Um, so now over time, when, you, when I painted, so the first one which came out successfully with, with this new mixture, uh, was in 2007, eight, yes. and those paintings up to now, if you look at it, yes. it looks like it's just been painted. It looks better. It gets better and better over time. Through, it's so, very through. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's been the the, the success. But the success uh, of uh, it, yeah. Yeah. So and, tell and me, the, 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 there are not that many colors that, that, that you use, Matthias. So you've got the yeah. blue, so which you said that mm -hmm. the blue is the representation of water. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the red, you've got the yellow, the green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the colors that really, that uh, we see mainly in your works. So can, can you tell us now what, what is the red for and what is the green for and the yellow for? The red Are they intentional or do you just yeah. afterwards see yourself having painted with them or is it an intentional uh, 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 is it something that is intentional that is happening? Um, for me, I like to stick to basics. So sometimes yes. it's very intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, sometimes unconsciously, you know, this is where the, 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 the fight comes, whether, you know, at what point do I say I'm the one who's painting? At what mm -hmm. point do I say it's the other part? So again, the same questions which I, asked, I was answering regarding uh, the first question, mm -hmm. you know, is this my mom, uh, where is mom, where, where is the line? She's mm -hmm. not there, but she's going to return. Same mm -hmm. thing as the artist who's painting, mm -hmm. um, at what point am I in control and mm -hmm. the other side is in control. Mm, mm, mm. So it's it's always uh, an issue of you know uh, who who's the owner of, of these paintings or who's mm. the real author mm. and I'm happy um, to be used as a vessel, it's a vessel. Um, mm. that that is working and putting these works across. They're not mine, but mm. um, I happen to be in the right position to be able to to put it across to them. Mm, I hear you. I hear you. Um, now, the first time I saw your works, uh, Matthias, I felt like I felt like Moses in front of the bush. You know that verse in the Bible where yes. Moses arrives in front of in front of the bush and um, yes. he hears a voice that says he must take off his shoes because the the space that he's in is sacred. And mm -hmm. I've done a number of exhibitions with your works and I've seen the same reaction in a number of viewers that have come to the exhibitions that I've done in the south of France. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain? It's, it's, it's as if all of us 
find ourselves in front of a sacred place, a place of meditation. Mm -hmm. You did explain it earlier on when you explained the, the painting with, um, with uh, uh, the thoughts of your dad and, and how you evoked uh, on the past uh, this, the same feelings. Um, it is like it, exactly that. It's like we are in front of a meditation whereby we are being uh, propelled and transcended in something bigger than us. Um, mm -hmm. Where is this coming from? Are you able to explain it to us? I would, I would say, how do I put it? Um, that space you would be in, it's, it's, it's like a, a space of knowing, yet not knowing of mystery. Um, so mystery and understanding what we cannot always uh, explain mm -hmm. that sacredness, you know, exists. So I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I think that that's the kind of um, space I would say, and that's where the engagement starts for you. So mm -hmm. it's a personal experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's the more you look at it, Mm. It, it there's the first part which is uh, presented which is the abstract the part. yes then the the value mm. or the more the important things are what is beyond beyond that mm. beyond that that mm. is the real value that okay. is what yes. it's all about mm -hmm. and that is what i normally hide don't want to talk about because you know uh they, you get uh, clients who come and just walk first, you know, they don't see. That yeah. is not yeah. And it's not for them. Mm. So there, there is more, the, the ones who really interest me are the ones who wait, watch, spend time, they look, and then they look, and then they see. Then they so see. that's the thing. Mm. And, you know, and it's not for uh everybody is for certain people who've got an eye who find themselves in there in that in that yes so that is that is so true matthias that is so true mm. Mm. something you're looking for you mm. will find it. if mm. you come to you know you see the works you will find it mm. it's something i cannot explain but it will fulfill what you're looking for so i i think that's that's where the secrets are Mm -hmm. And that's where it, it departs. And once you're able to do that, you know, once you're able to, to, to have a painting which brings you peace, which mm -hmm. uh, brings you calm, spiritual calmness, mm -hmm. uh, oneself being in control, understanding your actions, mm -hmm. then it fulfilled its purpose. And mm -hmm. uh, that, that is what uh, I would like to see. And people would change from those bases. Wow. <laughs> I love that. I love that very much. It's a place of healing. It really is a, a place of healing because um, the, I've had collectors that have collected your works and even today they still say that we still see something new in the works and it literally heals us as a family and it heals everyone that comes through the door so yeah. it feels most of the time like it's a place of healing a place of to be safe to be calm mm -hmm. um a place to 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 explore you can actually be out of more of an out of body experience exactly. you know you limited you're limited by your body so sometimes yeah. it's difficult to understand in the form but being out there being mm -hmm. free Mm. being free of, of that even for somebody who can't move they're able yeah. to travel you know somebody who's got no movement or uh, almost you know who can still see but they pretty much their body can't move mm. they're able to move when they look at a painting they're free they travel they go places you know and 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 that that is where it's about you know value of life it's not just the physical it's the spiritual and that's where the biggest value is what we cannot see is where uh, most of it is is, is based so um yeah, the, I think the you are already are answering, you are answering again the first question, which is, 
what can we learn from your works uh, mm -hmm. about the world of yesterday that we need now to learn and move with it because it looks like we are being taught that the world of yesterday is not the past it's still much mm -hmm. so very much so important and we need to use the, those knowledges and move with them because without them we are lost that's true and i hope people you know are picking up learning because for example now when you're stuck at home right now people are uh, at home you start asking yourself what what's more important um you know in in life you're at home you can't do anything else mm. you realize what's important is space being free being able to 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 walk spend time outside Mm. Uh, those, 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 those things, you know, just having time with family, having time to sit down and think of, mm. of the actions we, we, we take, mm. um, and, 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 you know, about those who are important to us, the loved mm. ones, and also those who've passed away, whom we forget, or we don't want to deal with because of the sorrow or the pain, but mm. we need to go through it and, mm. and, and think about it mm. and reflect. And mm. that's part of healing. And, you know, you can think about it and look at it and, you know, through the works and, and, and ex express uh, yourself and they help you know they help calm uh, mm -hmm. one's spirit one's soul mm -hmm. and that's that's what sh at the end of the day that's what we want and that's once we're able to do that uh, we've made a difference in the world just one person it makes a difference um, and the more people we can uh, uh, expose the works to um, mm -hmm. they will understand you know mm -hmm. and it's not about um, um, how do you put it it's about just trying to give people a better perspective of oh, yeah. uh, living their lives the mm -hmm. life is valuable Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what we should do. Same as those animals, you know, you spend mm -hmm. time with an animal. La life, uh, not just human life, but life, life itself. In, it's, it's, it's itself and it's in it, it, being, it being a plant, it being an animal, mm -hmm. it, life is valuable. Mm -hmm. That's that's the bottom of it. And I hope um, everybody can learn from it and yeah. Thank you so much, Matthias. Thank you so, so, so much. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>